we got another old guitar today in the mail and this one is a little bit different than anything I've had on the channel before so today we're gonna unbox it and play it let's check it out So, in this box is supposed to be uh, somewhat of a rare bird. It's something I've never had before, but it's supposed to be a factory Bigsby Telecaster from 1975. It's supposed to be all original, original finish, and it's been played to death. And there's kind of two factors in the vintage guitar world. You either like guitars that are mint clean or disgusting. And I think this one fits the bill, so let's check it out. So non-original case. It's not closed, though. That worries me a little bit, honestly. I wonder if it's because of the Bigsby. It's kind of scary. Wow. Sweet. And it is because of the Bigsby that the case wouldn't close, which, um, to be honest with you, that's kind of unacceptable to ship the guitar in a case that doesn't close. Let's go ahead and check this out, despite the first problem. All right, so here you have it. 75 Tele original with a factory Bigsby. Now, I was not kidding when I told you this thing is gross. <laughs> Let's see if it's in tune. No, but the Bigsby does work. I would love to hear um, an opinion on this one from you guys, but that pretty much gives you an idea. So I believe this is a factory natural guitar uh, because this checking is so tight and I'll give you guys some close-ups, but the checking is absolutely out of this world on this guitar. And the playwear is as well. I mean, someone has played the living daylights out of this thing, which is super cool. I mean, look at the wear on the on the edge of the the armrest area. That that is insane. So these old 70s uh, telecasters were painted with kind of a I don't know exactly, but more of like a polyurethane finish on the bottom here. Very plasticky and hard, and then it was a, a lacquer on top. And you can see they've even worn through that durable layer down there. So that is pretty incredible. Another thing about this guitar, which threw me off a little bit at first, so I, I don't 100% know, but typically a Bigsby guitar would not have uh, these string through ferrules here most of the ones that, that you would see. However, in doing a little bit of research, I've been told that obviously Fender would do anything and everything, pick a guitar off the shelf, throw a Bigsby on it, so it's not impossible to find this. The way that this looked to me, I I mean, if you look at the wear right here, this is, this is years and years and years of work, so I don't think someone added this Bigsby later. Plus, it's very hard to find the F-branded you know, factory Bigsby that Fender used and this whole setup uh, for the Telecaster. So this is quite the guitar, man. As far as I know, what I've been told, it's completely original. And then also these necks, again, um, they were finished in some kind of harder plasticky polyurethane that, that would hopefully hold up better long term with these guitars because you, you see the early 50s um, fenders, 60s fenders, and the maple necks would just wear out. Um, it is somewhat in tune, actually, surprisingly. You never want to ship your guitars in tune. It's, it's rare to see, but this fingerboard actually has play wear to it. And then the headstock has the double string tree, which they started doing into the 70s, but look that, that's basically orange. I mean, I don't know, orange or brown even. 
I, I don't know that I've ever seen a Telecaster or, or Fender guitar get that dark. That is wild. And the checking, again, is insane. Original factory tuners. It's pretty much your standard 70s Telecaster neck. I will say um, it is slightly heavy. I would say it could be eight and a half pounds, possibly nine pounds, but these Bigsby's do have some weight to them. So, you know, uh, if without the Bigsby, this would, this would be, you know, fairly light telly, I would imagine. Uh, the other thing that you might wonder is, does it smell? Because typically you see a guitar that gets this dark and this orange brown. It's probably been in a lot of smoky bars and I, I don't smell anything. Typically you would open up the case and you would smell it immediately, but I, I don't smell one bit of smoke and, and that, that can be really difficult to get rid of. So uh, that's certainly a positive. It's just a big old plank of ash. It's either a two or three piece body. That was pretty much what you would get in the 70s. Even this Bigsby is so just like rusty and thoroughly, thoroughly used. So I wanna go ahead and get to playing this thing. I'm dying to know how it sounds. And if you guys would leave your opinion, would you play something like this? Is this, is this too much? Is that too gross? I don't know. You guys leave your opinion and, and let me know I enjoy reading the comments, but I'm gonna be using my 68 Super Reverb, and you know, we'll see how it sounds. I'll give you guys my first impressions of it at the end, so let's get to it. This is the 1975 Factory Bigsby Telecaster. <laughs> Well, hello, we're back. And let me fill you guys in on a couple things. I ran into some issues when filming and recording this guitar, so I had to come back and finish it up. But the first problem was that running this straight into a Super Reaver with some JBLs is a very harsh combination. And I've got this 59 Tweed basement over here, which a Tweed amp and a Telecaster really is kind of a perfect combination. So 
I haven't been playing that amp because it really needs some updating and it's got some noise and stuff going on, but I uh, got it through this recording and it actually sounded pretty good to me. I'd love to hear uh, what you guys thought of it. But the other problem was uh, I, I started finding some issues with this guitar. The first problem was uh, the neck pickup is so microphonic, it's pretty much useless. And I don't have the amp that loud. I mean, it's maybe like three or four. I, I lowered the pickup also and dialed the volume back and still it goes straight into feedback and it's, it's pretty much um, not usable. So that's really unfortunate because I did not know that about the guitar. The other thing was um, it's got a replaced volume pot, which is totally loose and it's, again, not uh, disclosed as well as the case problem which was supposed to come in, in a different case so I don't know what that was about other than that just a few minor things I mean I understand it's a vintage guitar but at this point in time it's not functional with one of the pickups so that's kind of a, a problem for me but the bridge pickup was working and I thought it sounded pretty good so that's that's basically what you heard for most of the video and as far as the tone goes, I mean, I, I dialed back the tone probably to about six or seven on the bridge because it's pretty harsh. But otherwise, I thought the sustain uh, of the uh, bridge pickup was really nice and the chords and stuff sounded great. I thought the Bigsby might kind of cut some of the sustain off from the guitar, but I didn't really notice that at all. I mean, it seems to, to uh, sound just like a string through uh, Telecaster. But what I did like about the Bigsby is that it does change the tension of the of the strings a little bit. So it kind of feels like more of a, a Stratocaster with a tremolo rather than a straight up, you know, telly that's that's kind of harder to bend and stuff like that. There's a little bit of give there, and so I do like that quite a bit. So anyways, guys, leave me your, your opinion on this. Is it too gross? Is it beyond what what you guys would care to play i don't know the more i look at it the more i'm like god that that is pretty pretty nasty but again it doesn't smell like smoke i'm i'm shocked i thought i really thought it would but you look at this right here someone someone really played this thing dude so it's cool when you look at it and you see these little details uh, that's what i like about vintage guitars you can sit here and look at it all day and find something that uh that you didn't see before so it's definitely a cool guitar I think I will have to get the neck pickup wax potted. Hopefully that will take care of the microphonic feedback going on. If I'm going to do the neck, I might as well do the bridge again because the, the wax or the potting process they were using in the 70s did change from the 50s and 60s and it just doesn't hold up as well. That's been one of my complaints with these 70s guitars. So I might as well have them both done. You know, that, that uh, probably costs 100 bucks or so. Maybe I got some friends that will help me out. Um, then I got to find a, a different pot for it and then maybe we will check back and give it a, another go. So stay tuned for an update on this one. Stay tuned uh, for some more videos, more cool guitars and whatnot. So thank you guys for being here. I'll see you soon. Peace.